Marvel has not been good since Endgame. The MCU is absolute hot garbage ever since that movie came out. And really, Endgame wasn't that great itself. So there's a bit of an asterisk to go with that statement. But one thing is very, very clear to you and to me. And that is that Phase 4, Phase 4, Stage 4, whatever you want to call it, has been a complete and total and absolute and abject wash. A bad movie follows another bad movie that loses money after losing more money, after losing fans and subscribers to Disney+. Plus and virtue signaling, attacking the fans and marketing that's all about LGBT, racial this, gender that, blah, blah, blah. We're sick of it. And one of the worst trashings of established characters that we have ever seen. Try to focus on entertainment, Marvel. Maybe it won't all be over in five years. One such character who has been completely ruined from how he used to be is Thor, who used to be dark and broody and serious, but now has been turned into a joke-cracking beta super male, even though he is actually the literal god of thunder. We all know Hemsworth is a funny guy, and Thor probably did need to lighten up a bit. He was a little too serious and probably would have collapsed under the weight of his own plotline sooner or later, but the Taika Waititi version has more or less turned the character into a joke before replacing him with a woman. And Hemsworth himself seems to be very, very aware of it because he has now come out and said that if he's ever going to play the part again, it would have to be drastically different. Hello, and welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name is Will. See what I did there? And maybe you can tell I'm still very angry with Marvel since She-Hulk came out and insulted us all directly. If you're not willing to stand for it and you're enjoying the content so far, there's a button down there. You can give it a click and help me to help you. Thank you very much. Let's get over to Bounding Into Comics here where we'll see Chris Hemsworth says his return to the MCU depends on Thor being uh, portrayed drastically different from, should be drastically differently, from Taika Waititi's bastardization. In further confirmation that the actor, like almost everyone, is fed up with the director's blatant disrespect for the character, Chris Hemsworth has declared that his return to the MCU as Thor is contingent on being able to play a drastically different version of the character compared to his portrayal under the irony-laden direction of Taika Waititi. Now, of course, Taika Waititi is a total prick, but he does make good movies, mostly. Uh, he definitely did before. But uh, his latest Thor movie was uh, just a step too far when it came to stupid self-referential comedy. If you leave this guy unchecked with nobody watching him, he will make trash. That's basically what we learned from Thor Love and Thunder, as did Disney as the money came in and it made less money than Doctor Strange 2, which is very strange considering we have pretty much the last remaining OG Avenger here. And I mean, of course, they already ruined him by making him a fat loser and then making him into a joke again. And, uh... No wonder Hemsworth is pissed off. Hemsworth spoke to his potential future as the Mjolnir-wielding Norse god during a November 23rd appearance on entertainment reporter Josh Horowitz's Happy, Sad, Confused podcast. Okay, asked by Horowitz, where do you go with Thor at this point? Hemsworth asserted that while he was unsure if he would get another chance to pick up the hammer should he ever get the chance to reprise the role, he would love to see... Oh, now that Marvel Studios contract has closed out with Thor Love and Thunder, should he ever get the chance to reprise the role, he would love to see his thus far career-defining character written in a way more akin to the tortured hero he was in the last two Avengers movies, rather than as the bronze over brains comic relief he was in his last two solo outings. Yeah, I mean, let's be honest here. The best that Thor has ever been done was in Avengers Infinity War. He's lost everything at that point and is fueled only by revenge. It's the thing that leads up to the beautiful twist ending that, you know, I still won't spoil because I have that much respect for a movie that's been out for, Jesus, what, nearly five years. Anyway. I think you look at Thor and Thor the Dark World, and they were quite similar, the actor opined to his host. Ragnarok, Love and Thunder, similar. I think it's about reinventing him. I think I've had such a unique opportunity with Infinity War and Endgame to do very drastic things with the character. I enjoy that, you know? He added, doing his best to sidestep calling out Waititi's indifference to good storytelling by name. So this is it, of course, like we said. So Thor won, a little too much emphasis on him being serious, but there is some comedy because, of course, it's a fish out of water story. He is a Norse god on 21st century Earth and he has no idea how to behave himself. It leads to a lot of very funny situations. The Dark World tries this, but kind of just gave itself a humorectomy. 
So that's why it's so hard to remember that film. I've seen it like three times. I couldn't tell you anything about it. Not even now. Except that the ether is the reality stone. That's about it. That's all you need to know anyway. Now, then we have Thor in the Avengers movies. Particularly here, Infinity War, right? Now, Ragnarok came before it and made Thor very funny. But then that humor meets Thanos' armada. And the very next movie that comes out is Infinity War, where everything has gone to hell. And Thor has found that, okay, he's learned not to be so full of hubris. He's learned to uh, accept that his brother will probably never really be loyal to him. He's now faced with the destruction of his home, the loss of his family, the loss of his people, and he is broken. They still managed to make it a little bit funny, but only by playing him off against Chris Pratt as Star-Lord, which of course was a wonderful decision. Um, but he's serious. He's, he's once again serious. The idea of the character is, sure, he can crack a joke or two, that's fine. But when shit gets real, Thor gets serious. Dibble. Whereas in Taika Waititi movies with Thor, there's no seriousness ever, no matter what it is. And there are loads of plot contrivances too. He says, I like keeping people on their toes. He continued, it keeps me invested. I've said this before, but when it becomes too familiar, I think there's a risk in getting lazy because you go, eh, I know what I'm doing. Ultimately, Hemsworth admitted, so I don't know. I mean, I don't even know if I'm invited back, but if I was, I think I would. it would have to be a drastically different version in tone, in everything, just for my own sanity. Whoa. Right, so we, uh... We are very clear here that he does not appreciate what's been done to the character. Because, of course, let's not forget, even though they turned him into a fat layabout loser in uh, Avengers Endgame, he still had an air of gravitas about him that he doesn't have in, in uh, Love and Thunder. Even as a, as a joke, an emasculated character for the sake of plot, or whatever, for the sake of politics, maybe. You know, a guy who's lost it. There are scenes in Endgame where he gets to act. Really serious, dramatic acting. And it's, it's beautiful. If you're going to play a broken down god, then play it right. And it was written well, and he did it right. Now, compare that to Love and Thunder, where he's back to his peak physical fitness and attractiveness, and he's just a, a joke-cracking idiot. It's no wonder that movie fell apart, even with the death of Jane Foster. Anyway, whatever. Speaking with Vanity Fair in the wake of the discovery that, as realized in the fifth episode of his Disney Plus series, Limitless, he is genetically predisposed to Alzheimer's disease. Hemsworth was asked by outlet white writer Anthony Brasnikan if these experiences focused on longevity changed the way you plan your own future. He said 100%. He said, uh, I'm just at a point in my life where I'm meeting with different actors and people say, oh yeah, look, he's a mad genius. He's mad, but he's a genius and he'll make great films. And I'm like, is that who I want to spend my days with? Said the actor, taking an ostensible dig at Waititi. Four months, five months of shooting, and then you've got press and possible reshoots and so on. So basically what we can take here is that Hemsworth has found that, for him at least, things have got pretty real. He needs to um, re, uh, re-establish what his priorities are and, uh, you know, decide if this is exactly what he wants to do with the remainder of his career. Seems like it's not. Seems like he's honestly had enough of being uh, made a joke. And uh, I, for one, think that that is great. Because the character and Hemsworth are much better and have much more range and and much more potential than just cracking jokes or going all the time. Hopefully someone will come along who knows how to do the character right and we do get maybe one more last hurrah for Hemsworth's Thor. That would be nice. But only if it's done right. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below as usual. Of course, like this video if you've enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. It really does help me out. Thank you very much. I'll be back with another video for you very soon, but until then, see you next time.